we are here in front of the Ranga counter. Ranga is incidentally one company, one old school company to take Indian handmade ebonite pens abroad. And somehow it was my fault, I missed out Ranga. Sir, we make handmade pens for the last 55 years. It's a, it's, a, it's a bazooka. This looks like a bullet till it's really... It is aluminium. No. It's heavy. This is coming to India for the first time, coming into the market, colourful resins. Proud to say, we are the first one to take these Indian pens to global market. I think it's these pens would be recommended for all the kids. I think uh, this should be the future of uh, the unbreakable pens. They were the first to make pens that were compatible with German nibs. What is the price range? Hello, welcome to the Chennai Pen Show and we are here in front of the Ranga counter which is, as you all know, one of the most famous fountain pen names in India. It's an institution, it's not a name. It's an institution, they've been making pens for more than 50 years now. 50 years, oh yes sir? Which has more than 50 years and they sell in more than 100 countries as we were saying and Ranga is incidentally one company, one old school company which has done perhaps the most to take Indian handmade ebonite pens abroad. Sir, how does it feel? Like Professor Janardhan asked, what is the, how did the name Ranga come about? And before uh, giving on to him, I want to say one thing, you know, once I did a story about all the pen brands in India and somehow it was my fault, I missed out Ranga. You know, the kind of backlash that I got, everyone, you haven't mentioned Ranga, you haven't mentioned, so that's the kind of, you know, love and affection with which Ranga is held in the fountain pen community. So please explain, sir, please begin by saying, how did this Ranga name come about? So first of all, uh, we are very happy to be part of this Chennai Pen Show, and we will uh, heartily welcome to welcome you and KC Janathan sir to Chennai. And Thank you. We are Thank always you. a fan of Inkeda Happiness. Thank you, sir. Thank you. And your English. Thank you. English narration. Okay, sir. Uh, my father name is Yamas Pandurangan. Pandurangan is uh, a god name. Okay. Pandaripu. Okay. Maharashtra. Ranga Vital, okay. Pondurangan. Uh -huh. So, uh, we uh, started the name with Ranga. Okay. And what are these pens? What are the specialties of these pens? If you please say this for the people who are coming new into this hobby, who do not really know about pens because they have to know. Sir, we make handmade pens for the last 55 years. In those days, they were heydays actually for fountain pens. Then there was a sluggish due to the arrival of ball pens. Then the fountain pen sales and the usage is revamp, getting revamped. So fountain pen is eco-friendly. The main main thing is fountain pen is eco-friendly and you can will not get a hand finger fatigue and uh, yeah. Better the way, retention of knowledge. Uh, the way the finger connects to the brain is far far better than the way keyboard connects to the brain so people love now the younger generation is into comes to writing actually so we make fountain pens for the last 55 years mainly we are focusing on cellulites initially cellulites and making feeds we were into feed making industry and those days we were making pens with food powered lathe Without electricity, without electricity is like a tailoring machine. But when uh, Craftman needs to stand stand out, and uh, both his mind and uh, leg and it hand used to work together. To sink, it has to be in sync. Then we slowly move to fountain pens, fountain pens in cellulites, and then we ebonite. We used uh, ebonites, and uh, we have lot lot of varieties in ebonites. And last seven to eight years, before seven to eight years, we were into acrylics. Now we are into metals, resins. You so know, why don't you show us one of your metal pens? Sir. So in metals now we have, pop, this is a brass pen. Uh -huh. 
slight it has to be slightly heavy uh -huh. But how that well it has like been made. Yeah. Three or three bullets. Uh, yes. It's a, it's a bazooka. This looks uh -huh. like a bullet and it's really... This is aluminium. Much yeah. heavy. This is copper. This is, is much this? like copper. A, that's copper. 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 copper and brass are quite heavy. But then they... Sir, this is the aluminium is like... Aluminium certainly is lighter. Less than half the weight of these two. But then you know these are... Wonderful pieces which would last, I think, for uh, generations. Many together. generations. Many generations. Many generations. Most of these pens will last for many generations. From what I know of uh, Ranga, and these are colorful resins. This is for, these are the first time in the Indian yes, market. This is coming to India for the first time, coming to the market, colorful resins as. Uh, it is as equivalent to any uh, resin blanks made by made in USA. So these blanks are as good as anything yes, that's made anywhere in the anywhere in the world. The so blanks. okay, these are. So this is for you. Chum, what, what most of them yeah. know is, you know, it's in their family that they started making the ebonites and one of the leading ebonite manufacturers. Manufacturers, yeah. And uh, the name, Mr. Pandurangan, the father. Okay, it is the lady's name. But mm. Ranga also means spread of colors. Ranga. You, so you, you have gone you, into all the colors. colors. You may not believe if I say is color blindness. <laughs> See. Look at that. That's another added point. It all looks the same to him. They look Though my mother, uh, she gives us colors uh, of different varieties and right. starts with making things. Uh, so. having color blindness. Being a person who has the challenge of color blindness, creating these colorful pens is like one of those. Uh, who is that? Who was a famous musician who was deaf? Mozart. Mozart. No, Mozart was deaf, but he produced. Or was it Bach? Or Bach? I don't know. One of them. One yeah, of those one of the, uh, musicians who was deaf and who produced fantastic compositions and played like that. He's Timeless a compositions. Of a person who was created. Colorful things for the world to see, though he doesn't see it in color. Great. And uh, one of our uh, friends in the groups introduced me to Ranga Benz, Mr. Kandan and his father. What he sir, brought sir, across is you know, bamboo. That. They make pens like, you know, which looks like a bamboo shape. It's very, very interesting to have something These like are. this. These are all acrylics, but then this looks just like a bamboo. So the, the, these are the you know, these are the bamboo pens. Mm. They have innovated. This looks like the exact bamboo, the fresh ones which are just coming up, green bamboos, and then maybe they have other colors which are like you know the bamboo. Color. Please you say, tell us, what, what, tell us the, what are the specialities of these two pens. Uh, before going to this, we feel proud to say we are the first one to take these Indian pens to global market. Wonderful. Mm. Actually, so, I was working in a software company and uh, I had an opportunity to travel abroad frequently that time. So, that time I was assisting my father parallelly and I had a very good passion for this pen. So, yeah, the point of time I have decided you will be, uh, anyway, you will be coming back to this industry. So, I have introduced these pens to abroad pen users, fountain pen collectors. So, they were very happy. So, and how, how long back was this? It was before 15, 15 20 20 years. He worked as manager in ah, NCL. Ah, mm. Due to his passion, he came back to the. So, uh, for this pen show, we have introduced these two materials. This is called one is called Altam, this one is called yeah. Peak. This is polyethymerate and this is polyether ketone. Both are high strength plastics, thermo engineered plastics. It is used in uh, aircraft auto automobile industries and surgical spare parts. So, the you say the, it is very high strength, uh, it, it won't be, it can't be broken that easily and uh, it is, uh, it has high melting point, it can't be heated okay. that easily and it has very high chemical resistance and it so is very hot. This is hard a win-win kind of a pen, ah. indestructible. Ah. It is very hard to uh, break. turn, break. Break. Ah, it is very hard to turn also. Ah, it must be because ah. if it is even hard to spray. Turn, turn, turn for, for turning, for yeah, turning. Even to pain. take a notch of this clip, we need to grind it in a sand mill. So it is not that easy. So we have to give all our strength. I think these, these pens to make this pen. yeah. would be recommended for all the kids who 
actually manhandle the pins, drop it down, stamp on it. I think this will withstand all that yes. kind of, you know, manhandling. And then they will not be able to break it, but, uh, yeah, yeah. even if this, they try. This material is uh, somewhat costly. Yeah, than our regular it has to be actually, yes. slightly expensive, but it is durable and it lasts long. Wow. So you can tell the parents, you buy one of these pens for your son or your daughter, they can never break it. Otherwise, they keep breaking pens and keep asking you for more. A few more to be replaced. Having extraordinary powers, right? So, <laughs> <laughs> having extraordinary powers, right? Ex yeah, yes. this is like yes. Superman, super yes. pen. Yes. Let me take a closer look at it. This, we are bringing this to Indian market for first time. First time, this is coming to India for the first time. Okay. Sir has the other one. Well, and these are, like as he said, these are virtually indestructible pens. Translucent. So, and uh, on the top, it's quite well polished. Choice of very, very, very available. Very well. I think uh, this should be the future of uh, the unbreakable pens. Master Mati, what do you call this? Any name for this? Altum. I know they give very ultra. Altum. 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 Altum is a name given by that industry Sabic. It was initially manufactured by industry called Sabic. Okay. Uh, Saudi Arabia Petro Company like that and uh, they have given the name Altum. Okay. Is it something to do with Ultimatum? Oh, maybe. maybe. Ultimate? Maybe. Ultum? maybe. Ultimate. Chemical name is Poly that's very nice. Unbreakable pen. Maybe it should be with every collector. Every home should have one pen of this and that so that it lasts forever. One final question. Yes, sir. If you tell us, we will be taking also, photographs we, of the we pen. We are the first one to make pens for German Nibonics. Okay. Okay. So they were the first to make pens that were compatible with German nibs. So this is also a first in India that the credit of which goes to Ranga. Now, uh, one question, you know, people keep asking me, what is the price range? That is okay. We have wide variety in terms of colors, models, materials. <coughs> we always keep our price so that it is affordable to beginners. At least we have few models to, to be affordable to beginners. So the price starts from 3,500. Okay. It goes till 30,000. From 3,500 to 30,000, it goes all the way. And uh, this includes the nibs and nibs everything, and everything. everything. So, because, you know, most of these pens, when uh, when they are displayed here, they don't have the nib and the feed unit. It is fixed according to your specifications. We Whatever have. you need, the kind of nibs that you want to write with. The reason is, it. we have more than 100 types of nibs. They also have a hundred types of okay. names. So, hundred is a very, uh, you know, the number that keeps recurring. You have more than Keep, a hundred. Keeps on increasing actually. Okay. Okay. So, uh, like, after we centenary... Mm. to introduce new models to the people. Okay. Uh, so, the you are the and the typically people. like the cricketer who yes. after scoring a century takes a fresh guard. Yes. Uh, so, that you can go for the next hundred years. Next hundred pens, next hundred nibs, next hundred countries. So here is Ranga. Thank you so much for talking to us, sir. If you, no, no. sir, if you the say something in Tamil, right? Mr. Pandu Ranga, he is the man who started everything. I think uh, a lot of people should know him because I have seen videos of him working on that lathe where it is foot pedal, and you know. Battling with your foot and turning the pen calls for a lot of expertise and skill. So, we also need skilled workers like him. I was just talking to Mr. Kandan that, you know, in future, to keep this alive, we need people, like, people him. like him, trained by him. Because, you know, every day we are finding that rare skills are being lost out. I wish that you also have a small training center and create people who are replicating your father to do this. Maybe within the family you can start and a few mm. more because this should not, you know, be... End in a whimper. No, it sh it I don't want it to end. The colors should continue. As you said, fresh this, card, uh, the next centuries you must have at least 10 This people. exhibition is conducted by Endless. Likewise, Ranga would be Endless. I know, but I want to see at least 10 skilled craftsmen uh, like him in your place going on manufacturing handmade pens so that the whole world would be able to 
see more and more of it and for the generations to come. Thank you. is a huge number but uh, we would be, we, we are there actually. We yeah, are I there. said 10 because you will at least get 2. Uh -huh. Right? We have 2. Good. And increase it to 4. Hmm. Thank you, thank you, thank Thanks you so much. very much. We always have high regards for you. <laughs> and KCJ, thank you. sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.